Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be checking out the Reality Scan app for Android and iOS, which allows you to use your phone to 3D scan any object and import it into any 3D program like Unreal Engine. The Reality Scan app has recently been released for Android devices, and so I thought we might test out using this app using three different mobile devices to see the results. Now this app is owned and maintained by Epic, or at least one of the companies that Epic Games owns. And in this video, we'll be testing out the Reality scan app on a Samsung Galaxy S10, an iPhone 8, and an iPhone 14, scanning two different objects to compare the results. I'll be showing you guys the step-by-step -step process and also any tips and tricks along the way. Now before we get into the video, I want to really quickly tell you about my multiplayer survival game course. Learn how to make a multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5. We create things like an inventory system, crafting system, an open world map that uses PCG to procedurally spawn all the foliage on the map complete building system, harvesting system. There's over 50 plus hours of course content. So head over to smartpoly.teachable.com and get an early access discount on the course. The price of the course will be raised later on. So make sure you don't miss out. So check the link in the description below or head over to smartpoly.teachable.com to learn more. So to get started, all you have to do is head over to the App Store or the Google Play Store and search for Reality Scan. And this is the app right here. You just click download. It is supported for Android devices running Android 7 or higher and iPhones or iPads running iOS 16 or higher. So once you've downloaded the app, you just sign in with your Epic Games account. Like I said, this is owned and maintained by Epic Games. So once you've signed in, you'll see the page right here. And then you can just go ahead and create a new project. So you just click on this blue plus icon and then we'll go ahead and open up your camera. So the first thing that will be scanning in this video is this electric drill. And basically I have it here set up on my desk, which is just some natural lighting coming in through the window. Now the process of scanning is actually quite simple. You just click on the center capture button and this will take a photo at that location. And all you really have to do is move your phone around the object in a circle while taking different photos at different angles. And what you're going to see is the app shows you where you took that photo from so it's going to give you sort of like a preview so you know where you previously took a photo at and basically you're going to try and get every angle and get a very decent coverage of the object now you're going to see these green yellow and red dots appear on the object as you're trying to capture it and basically what that is it's a point cloud and what the dot color represents the green means that you have really good capture data meaning that you took a lot of photos of that area that's going to turn out well the yellow and red means that you're going to need to take more photos of that particular area so you can produce better results. So basically you're going to try to get a fully green point cloud that can produce the best scan results. So now I've spent over a couple minutes scanning this. So basically once you are done scanning it, all you have to do is click on the blue next arrow button and that will go ahead and take you to the crop model preview. So basically you just take these little blue cubes and you can drag them in to crop the model to remove all of the excess points that are on the outside. So after you click crop, it will go ahead and analyze all the images and you can sort of see the point cloud preview of the mesh and all the images that you captured of it. So once you're done with that, you click continue and then you can give your model a title and description. Since I'm going to be scanning the same drill two more times on two different devices, I'm just gonna name them which device I scanned it on. That way I know which one is which. So then you can click process and export. And now what it's going to do is go ahead and process the model and export it to Sketchfab. So all the processing is handled in the cloud. And if it hasn't already, it's going to ask you to log into Sketchfab. Basically it'll pop open with a window asking you to log into a Sketchfab account. And if you don't know what Sketchfab is, it is a website owned by Epic Games where you can upload 3D models to this website, sell them or put them up there for free download. It's completely free to make an account and I think it's required to process and export the model. Basically the processing part will take roughly about 10 to 15 minutes. It really depends on the complexity of the model. So obviously a larger object with more photos will take a longer time. But once it's finished, it will upload the model to to your Sketchfab account that you logged in as. Now note, this is completely private, so no one else is gonna have access to your 3D scans. But basically, you can pull up your Sketchfab account and all of your models, and there is a built-in 3D preview on the website. You can actually check out how good the results are on there. You can also check it out in the app. 
after it's done processing as a built-in preview into the app. But once you have your model uploaded to Sketchfab, from there you can download the model and import it into any 3D application of your choice, whether that be Unreal Engine, Blender, Maya, 3ds Max. In my case, I imported mine into Blender so I could clean up and remove the desk part of the model that I scanned. So I downloaded it as a FBX file, imported into Blender, then I exported it as a FBX file and imported it directly into Unreal Engine. Basically, it's just drag and drop into the content browser. It will automatically import all the textures and set up the material for you. And all you have to do is drag in the static mesh into your scene. Now, the neat thing that I noticed right off the bat is that it's pretty much the same scale and proportions as the original objects. So you really don't have to worry about trying to get the right scale. But yeah, now you can see we have the object imported into Unreal Engine. And it's really that simple. I mean, the whole process took about, say, 20 minutes, about five minutes of actually scanning the object, 10 minutes or so of processing, and then five minutes of downloading the mesh, cleaning it up, and importing it into the engine. Now, I wanna show you guys the different results because I did scan this same model on three different devices. So I did it on an Android device, a Samsung Galaxy S10, iPhone 8, and then an iPhone 14. Now the scanning process is pretty much the same across all devices, so there's no difference with that. Really the only difference is going to come down to the camera quality of the device. I think we already know which device is going to be the winner here. So yeah, here are all the results. First we have the Android scan from my Samsung Galaxy S10. As you can see, it had a lot of trouble of picking up the drill bit here. The base looks pretty solid, but overall the top of the drill has had a lot of trouble and I think it also had trouble with the backside especially the handle here and that could just be because of the lighting and just how dark that area is plus it is facing the light source or my windows so the light source could have overexposed the shot and just made it a lot harder to capture that general area next up we have the iPhone 8 which looks a lot better you can actually see that it picked up the drill bit and the top of the drill isn't spiky or anything like that like we saw in the previous model now the back of the handle though I believe there's a big missing chunk right here and again that could be just the lack of light source from that angle but other than that it's pretty solid like the edges look very nice and smooth and well defined lastly we have the iphone 14 so yeah check this out it looks pretty darn good and it's just a lot more defined geometry I can even zoom up and check out the warning labels on here so you can see and read all the text on it. And it just picked up so many of the little details and just the overall shape of the object is just very well defined. Now, if you wanna check out any of these results, I'm leaving a link to my Sketchfab models in the description below. So these are all set to public so you guys can actually download and view all of them if you want to. So yeah, this is the iPhone 14 scan. I actually imported this into Unreal Engine. Now, I've gotta say that it looks a lot better in the Sketchfab preview view and I think that's just because of in Unreal Engine with all the lighting you can see all the little scan imperfections and it sort of looks like this grungy material applied on top of this mesh but I think that can be just solved if you actually go in and clean up the mesh geometry in any 3d application but other than that I think it looks pretty decent the neat thing about Unreal Engine is that you can just right click the model and enable Nanite on it. And the engine has no issues handling this raw scan with its thousands of triangles. So I mean, it really goes hand in hand with Unreal Engine because of the Nanite feature. I really would love to test this out on any other object like say some rocks or tree trunks or something like that because I think you can get really good results scanning it and unfortunately for me you need sort of overcast skies to capture outdoor objects. You really don't want direct sunlight and where I'm at overcast weather is not in an abundance but now I did scan one other object a fire extinguisher and I scanned this on all three devices as well and the results did not turn out well for any of the devices and I think that's mainly just because of the shiny reflective exterior of the fire extinguisher. Now just trying to capture shiny or reflective objects are just way too hard for it to determine what is part of the object and what is not. And I think that's a rule in general with, you know, photogrammetry, trying to capture a shiny object is just very difficult. And I have all the three results uploaded to Sketchfab as well. So if you guys wanna check that out, you can, link in the description. But as you can see, it had a lot of trouble with this reflective part. It had no trouble at all capturing this label here and all the text on that. It's just the outer red. It's just way too shiny and reflective for it to capture. But yeah, anyways, overall, I think this is a very useful app that you can download on your phone, whether that be Android or iOS device. And when you're at the park, or maybe when you see some sort of cool rock on the side of the road, you can go up to it, scan it, capture it, and then when you get home, it's already finished processing. You download it off of Sketchfab, 
import it into any 3D application of your choice. It's just a very quick and easy way to scan something into a 3D model. And if you want to check out other 3D models that people have scanned using this app, you can browse Sketchfab for all those models with the reality scan tag. And you can see all the other stuff people have scanned. There really are some cool stuff on here and it just goes to show you what is possible with the reality scan app. And anyways, that is going to be it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.